welcome back to the channel and today we are back in the instruments of destruction workshop uh looking at shin godzilla to start off with and there's a bunch of crazy creations that i've got for you guys today oh my goodness look at the teeth look at the teeth these teeth are just a flex panel it's like a flex panel. These creations just keep evolving more and more the longer I'm away from this game. But anyway, Shin Godzilla is made by Inco... Incogni Codex. All right, let's spawn it. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, its tail is doing that. Auto Whoa, this is so cool. Look at its tail go. I'm not doing nothing right now. It's just doing that by itself. That's weird and cool. Oh my goodness. Look at the way it runs. <laughs> it's, it's too fast for Godzilla. Look at the the claws and stuff like the toes. Oh my god And it turns it turns way too. Oh tail whip tail. Whip. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on Whoa, all right. This this isn't this is too aggressive. All right, ready? Come on. Come on hit it Hit it go that direction hit it. <laughs> it's really hard to get a good tail whip It looks like it's gonna be so good and then I just miss everything. Oh, that is, this is not how, what is going on with this creation? All right, we got more buttons though. Hold on, let me reset a little bit. All right, so I think, oh, this is a first person. Oh no, I don't think you want to be in first person. No, you do not want to be on, I'm sorry. Did not want to be on first person on this thing. All right, Q does something. Oh, we got back lasers. Oh, they charge? Since when was this overheating thing an option? All right, what about E? Oh, that's cool. That has a much uh, longer charge time. All right, here we go. Oh my God, I can't aim him. There we go. Wait, he has other types of teeth in there too. Take a look at that. Wait, does his mouth widen? It widens as well. That's kind of creepy. That is actually pretty creepy. These things on his back glow as well. That's pretty cool. All right, let's just run through the building now. All right, there's arrows. Oh, the arrows turn his head. That would be better for aiming the laser. All right, now that I have the knowledge of arrows, I, I still missed most of it. There we go. That was a little bit more reasonable. All right, we got a whole bunch of creations to look at though. Let's get back into the workshop. Okay, up next, we have Orb Lord. Look at the helmet. That's so cool. So the Orb Lord is made by Miguel and this picture is concerning. That looks so cool though. Whoa. All right, I can't wait to do this. Whoa, we're floating. Oh, those orbs are glitching out. Oh, we have very nicely labeled uh, controls. I appreciate that. So these orbs, I assume, are gonna do something at some point. Okay, we have a bunch of just like superpowers apparently. Attract orbs is Q. Okay. Oh, look at his arm go up when that happens. All right, so we've attracted the orbs. Now I'm gonna do the orb nova. I don't know what that's gonna mean. Maybe I have to be like close to a building with the orbs. Oh, all right, ready, Orb Nova, go! Ah, it's basically the orbs create a shockwave. Interesting. All right, I can't un-attract the orbs for some reason. All right, uh, oh, repel orbs. That's probably attract. Come back, orbs. This is this is so cool. The way the building just fell. Like, I don't mean it fell like a building fell over. I mean, like, as if a person was walking and they tripped and fell. The building just looked like it did that. This is awesome. So I'm going to do an orb nova as I send the orbs out. Ready? Uh, repel orbs. Orb nova. Oh, I meant, no, I meant, I pressed the wrong button. And orb nova. I, ju I just did a bunch of orb novas. Orb nova. All right, I got to reset already. This is this is a really fun creation. Okay, so what is a uh, roaring cannon? What? Oh, I think I see what's happening. All right, let me look down. So what I think is happening is this thing spawns a bunch of cannonballs in front of it and then expels them. So I'll look from the down perspective. That's awesome. It has too much of a spread though. Like if we go closer here, how about this? Ready? There we go. That did a little bit more damage. Okay, now we have a collapsing star. Or no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do teleport first. What does teleport do? What is that? How does this work? Where am I? If I do I go where I, I just go where my camera's looking? 
What does that do? How does that work? Uh, why did I go so far away there? Where's land? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna look down again. I like somehow the building is collapsing. I have no idea how that works. And how is it generating that smoke thing? This game, like, it has, it, it has so much capabilities that have just gone over my head. I don't know how people are doing this stuff. All right, number three is Cosmic Descent. What was that? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna restart and do that one. Okay, ready? I think where I'm looking changes it. All right, Cosmic Descent. Can anyone explain what that is? What is that? Oh, I'm gonna go into build mode and look up. Is there something? Is there, is there something up in the sky? I don't see anything up there. Like, look, there's nothing up in the sky. Where is that coming from? This, this is, in, this is insanity. It like changes the camera view too. That is so awesome. Okay. Um, I'm kind of like, I'm just, I get speechless whenever I do these videos because I do, I don't understand how you can create crazy things like this. Okay, up next, we've got Tyrannosaurus Rex with a WR. This is made by Gonzanator. All right, this thing actually is smaller than I was expecting. All right, move. Whoa, okay. See, now that, see, Godzilla did not feel natural. This feels way more natural. Whoa. Oh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Like, you can see there's there's a cool, like, piston thing happening in there. I can't go backwards, though. Move head. Oh, oh, its face. Whoa, its face looks so good. Man, and the way it turns is so well done. Okay, mouth, Q and E. Oh, wow. It's got, like, a cannon in its mouth, too. All right, roar. That's a good sound. Oh, I can swing tail? R and T. Oh! <laughs> I just hit my head. Um, steering doesn't seem to work for me on this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and walk here and swing my tail. Why am I so bad at tail whips? I need to move forward more. Oh, there we go. All right, ready? And swing tail. <laughs> I can almost hit myself in the face. All right, and then laser. There we go. A much more gentle laser than the Godzilla laser, that's for sure. All right, such a cool build. The walking is really well done. Ready, tail. There we go. That was finally a satisfying tail. Oh, interesting. You can't roar. I'm pressing the roar button with your your mouth closed. You actually have to open your mouth to roar. I'm immersed. Realism. Okay, up next, we've got Fight, Fight, Fight. This is made by Undead, and it's apparently just two machines fighting. So I don't know if I control anything. I'm not doing anything right now. There are buttons, though. They seem to be attracted to each other. They don't seem to be fighting. They seem to be very amicable, friendly, even. All right, uh, number one. Oh, 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 oh. I guess I'm blue. I don't... Oh, oh, what? what? Hold on. All right, number one. All right, I can move them manually like this. This is so weird. They don't seem... They seem like they're working together. Look at this. All right, ready? Number one. <laughs> Why don't they face each other? This is so weird. I feel like their their bodies are made of magnets that are just on, like, this push and pull, it seems like. You see what I'm... You see what I'm talking about? Oh, there we go. Now they're fighting. They need some type of sword animations, some swinging, some battle animations as well. That's really funny. Okay, this is Top Hat Timmy. I, I subscribed to this one weeks ago, and I don't remember why. This is made by Pumpkin. Oh, look at the description. A small robot that rolls around and slaps stuff. See, that just sounds, that sounds entertaining to me. And that's what my videos are about, being entertaining. Okay, here's Top Hat Timmy. Let's uh roll around and slap stuff. <laughs> I think he's given up. Top Hat Timmy was not ready for 2024 to be here already. He's gonna go ahead and just everyone say goodbye to Top Hat Timmy. All right, I'm just gonna. We have a stabilize button. T. 
There we go. We are now stabilized. Top Hat Timmy has regained confidence in humanity. <laughs> or robot manity. Robotanity. All right, space to jump. That's your jump? Top Hat Timmy. You gotta work on yourself, my friend. I mean, that's actually, actually it's kind of, it's a little bit cute, isn't it? It's like a fun little jump, like a very happy jump. The, the, so, the sound of it makes it seem like it should be way more intense, but we don't need that. All right, then there's the, the dash button. It, it doesn't, doesn't work for me. I thought he runs around and slaps stuff. All right, well, I cannot figure out how to use Top Hat Timmy to slap stuff. But um, despite that, he gave me a good laugh. Well done, Top Hat Timmy. Okay, up next, we have The Hermit. This is by Beerman, and it is a it's a steampunk walking tank equipped with a large cannon, shotgun, and long-range missiles. Whoa, that's a lot of controls. All right, so here we go. We're walking. We got piston walking system here. All right, what about turning? Oh, we got a turning system. Okay, this looks cool. All right, movement, Q and E. Oh, is there strafing? Oh, it has a strafing programming as well. That's awesome. All right, let's turn the face of the actual buildings. This is so well programmed. Beerman always makes crazy creations. All right, there we go. Uh, arrows. Oh, that's a little side gun. Oh, well, it's such a little gun. Z, I guess, to shoot that one. That is quite the shotgun. Okay, adjust R and F. Well, oh, that is the mortar control. Here we go. So these got mortars as well. That's a cool adjustment thing. I like the gear on it. All right, uh, aim. Oh, that's way too far. Okay, if we go up enough, it'll come back down. Okay, I don't know. I, I, it's, got, it's too far. Well, I'm gonna fire anyway. Hey, I got a hit. There we go. We're gonna destroy just the top of that building. All right, uh, height control. Here we go, left shift and left control. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's cool. And then up. That seems inefficient. Like it's a lot of friction to overcome. All right, and then we have the main cannon. Let's go ahead and aim over at this building, I guess. All right, and space. Oh, it's charging. Oh, it's charging up. Look at that. Oh, it's charging up. And that building is gone. It isolated that single building and just destroyed it. All right, I'm gonna try this one now. All right, we're charging. I love the charge up system. Here it goes. Watch the building. Oh, there was a little bit of collateral damage that time. That's pretty cool though. A lot of really fun functions on this one. All right, up next, we've got Black Widow. This is created by Gian Lusso. So apparently it fires a web. I kind of want to see what a web is for this game. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, the description said it's not a walker because they don't know how to make one. But all right, we press E to fire a web. Here we go. Oh, okay, hold on. All right, I, a little, I understand a little bit. I think I'm supposed to hold it down. So we go and we fire the web. <laughs> This is not what I was expecting. Oh, it, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of a weapon though. That's weird. That looks like we're in water. It, it that looks so weird. I mean, I guess spider webs can kind of be like that. They're so light. The air can just kind of like have them, like a single strand can just kind of like float in the air like that. But that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's interesting to watch. That, it's uncomfortable. It just, it seems like a loading screen, like an like just something you would see on like an old Windows 98 loading screen or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, up next, we've got Mecha Krampus, and this thing gives me like Zelda boss vibes. This is built by Undead. Apparently it has a hard time standing still. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, we're, we're I'm trying to walk forward. I'm, I'm trying to, oh, this is like, this is giving me the Godzilla vibes, the way that the, <laughs> what's wrong with you, Mecha Godzilla? Ah, uh, okay, no, no, I don't want to be the, quite this far yet. Wait, there's a run attack, what does space do? Uh, space looks like it's trying to jump. I don't know what's going on. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a control of yourself, Mecha Krampus. All right, F plus direction. Uh. I don't understand. All right, run attack. 
Run, run attack. I, I... This thing is so glitchy. He's finally standing still though. All right, Q is an attack. All right, Q. Oh, that's cool. It's like a ripping if I do both. It's like he's trying to like break through something. All right, what is he? Uh, G. G is nature assemble. <laughs> I'm a leafy, ooh, I'm, I'm, I just got leaves. I, why are all the leaves here? All right, T. Oh, T is hug. You can hug, I'm gonna try to hug a building. Oh wait, actually no, I don't think it's hug. I think it's to, uh, it's the release of it that is the attack. You go like this and then when you release, blah. This thing is so interesting. All right, and blah, uh, okay. It's hard to, it's really hard to aim this thing. Ah, there we go. And right hand, left. It almost looks like I'm doing it intentionally now. All right, turn attention. Oh, his head moves. Interesting. That's cool. All right, all right. He's still. We're we're finally still. Run attack. All right. He doesn't really run very well. All right. Now I'm gonna press that G. It is. It's just leaves. Like none of the building debris is coming uh, into my vicinity what I why is there must be a setting for it to be certain types of debris now that's interesting it's like some kind of nature beast all right I think we're gonna have to switch maps for this one whoa this is grinder m1 maybe I won't switch maps the picture of it was on another map but this looks like it could be suitable here too oh this is cool all right uh I'm gonna go forward oh it's got like a a bucket here Wait, no, we gotta, hold on, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. We're not ready yet. I think I gotta activate the things. Oh, these are buckets for, like an excavator. These are excavator buckets. G. Oh. Oh, look at that. This is not what I was expecting. Uh, E. Oh, I, get, I have to hold it down. All right, here we go. This is so cool. I can't wait to see it in action. There we go. Oh, it's, it's kind of working. It's actually kind of working pretty well. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of debris that's not going into the bucket. All right, ready? We push it out. And it gets dumped. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go for the bigger building. It's very, very slow to push. All right, let's try to look from, like, a side perspective here. There we go. I think the buckets are, like... I think there's too many buckets. I think there needs to be a couple more gaps in between these buckets so they can actually, like, grab onto something and pull it. Yeah, they're trying to throw the debris into the bucket there. But look at the mess we're leaving behind us. It's aesthetically a great design. Practically, I don't know if it's quite accomplishing its goal very efficiently. All right, let me get ready for dumping this uh, load right here. There we go. Yeah, it even loses stuff before it dumps. It's a, it's a strong expulsion of the uh, debris though. All right, then up last is the Cobra 200 Biker. This is made by Lunar Skull. Took forever to model and fine tune. All right, that's why we're spawning in the desert. This thing, I can see when well, you talk about the modeling, this thing looks so good. Okay, uh, here we go. Okay, 200 kilometers an hour was not as fast as I was expecting. I mean, it says over here we're at 200. Okay, all right, but you know, it's not really about the speed, is it? This is about the engineering on this thing. Look at the steering, the arms, the way the arms move. The, my, only, my only criticism is when I steer left, watch his body. His body kind of rotates out to the opposite side of the steer where he should be leaning into the steer. Otherwise, he's gonna flip over. There you go. And yeah, he kind of like, it does spin the back wheel out. Oh, it's a very drifty motorcycle. Look at the exhaust coming out of the pistons. How do you even do that? There we go. That was a pretty decent turn there. And does it go backwards? Oh, it does go backwards. Look at that. Can we do a wheelie? Eh. Nope, can't do a wheelie, unfortunately. It's probably got auto stabilization in it. But this is super cool. Definitely one of the best looking motorcycles and person riding a creation uh, that I've seen in this game. All right, he's, he's having a little bit of knee issues there. His knees appear to be buckling a little bit. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta grip tight so you don't fall off. All right, let's actually drive into something though. I forgot, this is Instruments of Destruction. And there you go. This motorcycle is in fact an Instrument of Destruction. So which one of these instruments of destruction was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll probably like some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.